Yeah. Uh, the internet has gave us information that you are being casted in the new reboot movie. Who did that? The uh, movie plot from Facebook. Yeah, a lot of those things, I'll be honest, man, they don't, they don't know what's going on. I have a real close relationship with Saban. I have such a close relation, they don't even tell me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> if they don't tell me what's going on, I know a lot of those things are starting to be, you know. That's why when people call and ask about CM Punk, they're like, well, I know it's an internet rumor. I'm like, it's really not an internet rumor. I mean, that's legit. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of things that start with rumors that they don't know. I do know that I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it because I don't want to get in trouble, but I'm, I'm for sure they'll be filming this year and the movie will be coming out next year, but it's all top secret hush hush. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm staying on top of it. They just, I think that the, the corporations know me really well, but they're like, be careful what you tell JDF because he's so close to his fans, he's going to share and stuff. And he's gonna <laughs> so they're really like, oh my God, you know, really careful on what they tell me. And they're like, please don't, don't, don't say this or say that, you know, so I'm real careful. Yeah, they're probably filming this year. Confirmed. 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 Yes. So as far as your fan base goes, how crazy is it to see from where it started to how loyal the fans are still today? Man, I think it's great. I mean, uh, I t this is what I'll, uh, what sometimes I don't get. You know, it's like I travel around with a lot of people and my tour, and all these guys have done a lot of stuff. Like my stuff is you know, ten years, and I'm on tour with like all these people have done movies and they just completed it and I have such a loyal fan base that they always come up to me and say, hey man, like, what are you doing to have all of my, well, I have to think, I think for years I've been putting in, you know, stuff back. That's why these actors really can't withdraw from their fans because they have not invested into them at all. So when they want to, like, when you have a friend that withdraws from you all the time, just, you know, give me, give me, give me, it's boring, right? But if you have a friend that invests into you, and it's a give or take, and you'll do, and they'll do for you, and that's what I think the fan base needs to be, is like, invest in your emotional bank account, and you invest in my emotional bank account, so we can emotionally withdraw, not financial things, but we can emotionally withdraw favors, and that's kind of what you guys, that's why, for my fans, I know, I was like, if I can, if I have to post, like, call Savannah and Timmy get in the movie, they will not work for the next week, you know, I know my fans are die hard, but I think a lot of actors, uh, and I thought about this, because I was in New York, and I was thinking, man, I'm so blessed for like, Four days, people were calling me King of the Con. I had like eight hours line, you know, hours, and I was thinking, what what's different, you know, than than you got Arrow and you got all these people, and what's different? I just think that my fans know me. I spend a lot of time on social media. Um, I look today at a few things so I can remember when people come up to me today to say, hey, I posted. I'm like, yeah, I remember. So I think just it's amazing for me, and it started like small. And sometimes if you don't see, like, here's the thing. I think if, if people work out or they train and you don't see, like, an instant result, what do you do? You quit. You just quit. It's like, oh, man, I don't see this at all. I'm so frustrated. I just want to quit. Or, like, a relationship. Like, this ain't working, man. Like, you just told me that's not working. But you have to give it time. And then you start seeing these slowly results and say, you know what? I, I do look up. Man, I dropped half a pound a day. I'm looking, you know, and little <laughs> by little, it's like running the marathon. And I think people don't do that. They're so quick to... I don't see it. So for me, my fan base was like slowly, slowly, and now things start to come up and, and snowball. But you don't step away when that happens, nor do you step away when it doesn't happen. You just kind of be who you are through the whole entire thing. It doesn't matter you know, what you do and what interviews. I have that happen a lot. I have people come in, do interviews. I don't know who's who. And actors say that, like, how do you know who, where he's from? I said, it doesn't really matter. How do you know it's real? It's like, it doesn't matter. You just do every interview the same. And it doesn't matter if you're CNN, podcast, no fans, just starting, and you've got like 5 million people. If you do that, life will be easy because you treat everybody the same. Yeah. So, and that's, you know, and that's like the, I think that's the uh, biggest thing for me. And another thing, you, this is just a little life thing, but another thing you have to remember is <clears throat> that there's only a certain amount of people that really know you. Right? Like that really truly know you. And sometimes people don't give it the time or you might not want to give them time to know you. So what happens is when they're here, you're no longer friends. And what do they do? They turn on you and then they say, you're this, you're that. Because everyone starts thinking that's the way you are. But that's not the way you are because they don't know you in the first place. So the people that you get close into your life that know you is that inner circle, right? The people in that in the inner circle, there's problems. Everyone always asks me like, hey, I'm power you don't get along, it's like family. I'll ask you one thing, does your family get along 100%? No, I don't think any family does. You always have the aunt, the uncle, the cousin that doesn't do this. It's just life growing pains, you know? Get along with everybody, but you have to really ask yourself, like, who knows me? 
and who's going to judge me because it really doesn't matter. That's like when I have people on my page say something. Oh, I know you, and you're only nice on camera. It's like, oh, yes. Because I just watched Keanu Reeves today on camera. Someone was like filming him like this on a train. I was watching this, and Keanu, I heard Keanu's a really nice guy. There's producers so I'm watching, and they're filming from a, a phone. And he just got up and told me, I told the girl, do you, know, do you want my seat? And she said, yeah, so I do. I do this stuff all the time. So I'm not afraid of cameras or apology because it really proves that who we are. So people say that, like, you're fake on camera. It's like, do you want, you know, who, who, who doesn't walk around, like, and being like, you know, sometimes I can't walk around and show you all, like, oh, today's a bad day. How about you come to the VIP and I just, today's just a bad day. No one wants to see that. So I think we feed off each other. I think that's the point. So, yes. What's your all-time favorite prank you played on a fellow cast member? <laughs> all-time favorite prank. Oh, boy. Um, and I had a, I'm saying I, I, did a, I did a lot of crazy things. Like Dave came to my house, and I, I mean, I told him that story, but, you know, everyone knows the story about the sandwich thing. How you doing, buddy? Everyone knows about the sandwich thing, but, like, I didn't do it to be mean to, like, make Dave eat, like, a bug sandwich. Like, I, I put the fly in the sandwich in Australia, and I put the sandwich in my hand, like, not on a napkin. And I thought, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prank him. I'm going to walk way into the desert and then he be like, hey, Dave, I got you something. Like, really suspicious, you know, like, hey, got you a sandwich. So he'd be like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, and I did. And he's like, thanks, buddy. And I was like, you're welcome. And I was like, dang, it kind of feels good to be good, you know. Like, oh, like I should have done that for a different intention. And then I walked away and he ate it. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> he knows he knows there's a fly in it now. But um, we used to pull a lot of different pranks. I think Johnny Bosch was funny. Driving the, to the movie, I told him to climb outside the window, climb to the other side. There's a stunt guy, and I tricked him to get outside the freeway. We were going like 50, 60 miles an hour, so he climbed out the shuttle van. I was like, do it, dude. I was like, you want to be Jackie Chan, right? He's like, I love Jackie Chan. I'm like, do it, dude. You can do this stuff. Like, no stunt man. No, he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, dude, go out the window and just climb around and come on the other side. Like, do it, dude. And he's like, all right, I will. So he went out the window, and I just rolled the window up. And I was like, hey, hey. And I was like, <laughs> and I took Henry at his wheel, and I went like this, and he's like on top of the car, and I'm like staring at like that, and then I was like, all right, roll the window down. He's like, dude, I said, that was good, man, that was good. He's like, you rolled the window, so little things like that. Dangerous stunts. Like, uh, I only do it with Johnny because I know he can do it. That's fine. Johnny's a pretty good stunt man, he's legit. That's why we do a movie with him, so. If we do a movie, we probably won't have any stunt guys, like, at all. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. All right, we'll go yes to the next. Okay. Can you talk more about the project then with you and Johnny? Um, well, not yet. I mean, you know, we're trying to do the Taste Cadden thing, Operation, you know, Black Unicorn, the Taste Cadden, which is like an assemble line of like, it's kind of like Expendables, but in a smaller thing where I get some, you know, really good CIA agent guy. He's going to be like one of them I'm trying to work with, you know. So we filmed some stuff, but it's kind of a surprise. Okay. To me, too. I have to see how it's going. <laughs> oh, that's what we did. Sometimes Aaron's like, 